The video of today has been the one that has impacted me the most since it is related to Minecraft and drugs. For this reason, Minecraft has super packs drugs. Welcome back to Bobbycraft. But in English! The first thing you should know is that in country of the United Kingdom, there is a place called Rehabs. But what the hell is Rehabs? Let me explain it to you. Rehabs is a place of help. It is exactly called Choices Rehabs UK. As you may already be imagining, this help center is specialized in addicts. If we analyze the website of the help center, we can clearly see that they specialize in helping people with alcohol and drug addictions, since these two categories have always been the most common among addicts. But perhaps you have many doubts about the entire process of this help center, because on their website they show us how is the rehabilitation and consists of five steps. Step number one. Call. Clearly, we have to call the help center first. For example, the addicted person can call, but in case they don't want, someone from their family will have to call. Could be their parents, their siblings, their uncles, or however it be. So once that it reaches the help center, let's go with number two. Choose rehabilitation. The people in charge of the place will ask you what your addiction is. For example, in this case, our colleague is Steve Cricoso is addicted to cigarettes. Knowing this, the managers will assign him a specific rehabilitation. Number three, detox. This is a moment where the intoxicated person stops consuming the substance in a safe place with more people. Depending on the patient, on several occasions, he may require medical assistance. All this valued with professionals. Number four, treatment and therapy. Patients will be helped to improve their mental health. For this really relaxation and a place to reflect are needed. On many occasions, addicts are put to do healthy and recreational activities, so that slowly they no longer depend on substance. And finally, number five, which is the time. Making these therapies constant will be much better, because no one stops being addict overnight. And that's it, that's the recovery process. But why am I telling you all this? Well, you remember step one, call the support group so they can assist you and help you in your addiction. As it turns out that in recent years, the Choice Rehab Center in the United Kingdom has received a gigantic amount of calls about Minecraft addicts. Sadly, with the arrival of the pandemic, many young people were locked in their homes without being able to do anything, causing them to have to find another form of entertaining. And one of those, of course, was video games, increasing thousands and thousands of new players in all countries of the world. Such an impact video games had during the pandemic that cases of addiction to the game of cubes also increased. The help center in the UK no longer knew what to do, as the calls they received about addicts to the Minecraft wasn't only one call. Not two, not three, but hundreds and hundreds of calls a month. I remind you that the rehabilitation center specializes in drugs, alcohol, tobacco and also in bad behaviors and yes, they had already helped the occasional video game addict, but they had never received so many calls. The group of addiction to video games grew so much that here is a super disturbing fact. The support group published its statistics of addiction cases, and those statistics said that cases addicted to Minecraft had increased 15% more than addicts to drugs from cocaine. This is really outrageous. And it is no longer a myth. Addicts of video games and social networks are becoming just as addictive as illicit substances. But how bad can this addiction be? Because obviously a video game doesn't directly attack your body as a bad substance can. So to discover how far this addiction to video games can go, I will tell you a true story of the boy Oliver, who was only 13 years old. Oliver was doing very well at school, in fact, it is known that he had a very good friends. He had never had repression because he was quite happy. But then in 2018, he began to play too many video games, specifically mobile phone games, such as Clash of Clans, Roblox and also the Minecraft game. At the beginning everything was normal, but after a year he began to become addicted to these video games. Because Oliver was so involved in video games that he no longer listened to his parents, and not only that, Oliver stopped spending time with his friends. Oliver's obsession was so great that he didn't want to do anything else but play, so his parents forced him to stop using technology. Oliver very angry had to agree, and for several days he couldn't play any video game. From this moment Oliver fell into a terrible depression. He longed to play video games again, and very sadly tried to take his own life. Right at that moment he didn't make it. But just a few hours later, on October 24, his parents found him in his room, he was unconscious, and he had passed away. His parents spoke with a specialist in health and psychology, and they told him that it was about gambling disorder. Gambling disorder works like any other drug, that is, it you already need to life. And it hasn't been the only case. For example, in 2015, a 38-year-old man died after playing video games, and stopped for 5 days. Another 32-year-old man died 19 days later after a marathon of 3 days of non-stop video games. And one of the biggest problems with video games is the enormous amount of dopamine that your brain receives when playing. 
Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that gives you pleasure and happiness. Video games are full of stimuli that produce dopamine. Of course, this is not a bad thing. In fact, dopamine is extremely good for us to feel good. But when your body is in excess of dopamine, it can cause immense levels of anxiety. And not only that, if you make your body have dopamine constantly, it will be difficult for something to make you happy. Like everything in life, nothing is good in excess. But then, what can we do to avoid falling into this type of addiction to video games? Well, it's relatively simple. Set the specific schedules and stick to them, then stay up all night playing, setting a limit of hours a day will make your dopamine balanced and not excessive. The best thing is that you'll feel even happier. Have you ever not gone on a trip for many days and when you return to your room to play video games you feel very happy? A feeling that you already miss it? Well. That's because you've let your dopamine rest, and now when you receive it again, you'll feel full. So remember, video games are not bad. In fact, there are many studies that prove that video games make you even smarter than the average human. But this video is further proof that everything in excess can be very harmful, just like even an illegal substance.